good evening friends welcome back to our youtube channel coding technologies in this video lecture i would like to discuss about cubus coding questions if you observe the input format in the first line the user needs to enter a single integer as an input that indicates the size of an array for example if the user enters the n value as 5 that means the size of the array is 5 and in the second line the user needs to enter the list of array elements up to n minus 1 because the array indexes are starts from 0 that's why we need to enter the array elements up to n minus 1 that means we need to enter 5 elements first I am entering 6 4 7 8 9 and what is the expected output the expected output is the center element after sorting the array so firstly we need to sort the array after sorting the array elements are 4 6 7 8 9 next we need to find the center element so first we need to delete first two elements and the last two elements the center element is 7 then we need to return 7 as output let us understand one more test case here we are having one note that means if the array size is even return the average of two middle elements what is that meaning let us understand this for example if the array size is 6 and the array elements are 1 5 4 3 2 1 we entered the six elements after sorting the array will be 1 1 2 3 4 and 5 in this after removing two two elements from each we are ha we are not having the exact middle element the middle elements are 2 and 3 2 and 3 both are the middle elements so we need to find the average of these two elements that is 2 plus 3 5 if we divide 2 plus 3 divided by 2 it will returns 2.5 as output but we take 2 as output and remove the pointing values that's it this is the program i hope all of you understand the program well and no need to understand these sample test cases also i will discuss these sample test cases in the above examples next just move on to the execution part before moving to the execution part if you are new to our youtube channel please do like share and subscribe and if you are having any queries please comment it below and i am conducting mock interviews to the ones who are going to attend the interviews Please share your resumes to busiriddihemanth at the great gmail.com. This is my mail ID. You can share your resumes to busiriddihemanth at the great of gmail.com. I will conduct a mock interviews to you. Without any delay, just move on to the execution part. Just open new tab and I am using Java as my programming language. In Java, the first statement is we need to create the class and name of the class I am giving as QBust. And inside the Java class, we need to write public static void main function. Then only the compiler starts execution. Public static void main of string args string args. Next, we need to take integer input from the user, which indicates the size of an array. In Java, if you want to take any input from the user, we need scanner class because in scanner class only, we are having different functions to take different type of inputs. That's why I am importing the scanner class into our program. Import java.util. Sorry, util star or else you can write the simply class that what you want that is scanner class next i am going to create object to the scanner class in order to access the functions that are available in scanner class scanner 
SSC equal to new scanner of system dot in system dot in after that I need to take integer input from the user int n equal to sc dot next int of next int of next int of is a function which is used to take integer input from the user after taking a n value we need to create one integer array which is of size n int arr equal to new int of n after that we need to take five integer inputs if in case the n value is five or else if the n value is six we need to take six inputs if the n value is ten we need to take ten inputs for that i am taking one for loop in order to take number of inputs for int i equal to zero by i am taking i value as zero because the array indexes are starts from zero only that's why i take i value as zero and i less than n i plus plus after that i need to take integer inputs in each iteration and assign that integer inputs into array that's why i am using arr of i i is nothing but the index of the array equal to sc dot next int of after completion of taking all the inputs into the array after that i need to sort the arrays in java we are having one inbuilt method called arrays dot sort of and it it takes argument as array name that's it um, the array is sorted now after that we need to return the center element from the array before that we need to check whether the array size is even or odd if it is odd no need to worry we just simply print the array array dot length by 2 if it is even we need to return array dot length by 2 plus array dot length by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 because um, if the array size is even no exact middle element is present that's why we need to return the average of two middle elements i am checking if n mod 2 n mod 2 double equal to zero that means if the n value is even what what should we do we just simply print system dot out dot print of print of array dot length l n g t h length by two array of array of array dot length by two array dot length by two plus arr sorry arr dot length by 2 plus 1 length by 2 plus 1 what it means let us let us understand this with an example for example if i give the n value is 6 and next the array elements are 4 5 3 2 1 6 what happens after sort after sort the array elements are 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it right and if you if you find the minimum element the minimum elements are 2 here that is 3 and 4 and the index of the minimum element is 2 because the array indexes are starts from 0 the first element index is 0 here then 1 then 2 3 4 5 if you find the array dot length by 2 it will returns 2 this is not the exact middle element so we need to find the exact middle element that's why I am summing the array of 2 plus array of 3 and then I divided by 2 it will return the exact middle element
that's it else i just simply print system dot out dot print of array of array dot length by 2 that's it friends just save the program i'm saving the file as cubers dot java in c and then in c folder i am choosing fight well in fight well i save my file as cubus dot java then open command prompt in order to execute the program cmd then change the directory in c drive we are having a folder called fight well change to the directory in fight well we are having a file called cubust.java just compile the program java c followed by cubust b u r s t dot java it is executing the program that is, i mean it is compiling the program here we are having two errors let me check it once sorry here i forget to add comments that way it will gets an error just save the program once and execute the same here we are having variable arrays is an error sorry arrays is available in util package i need to import that arrays also that's why i am removing scanner and give star here then save the program run it once here it shows that there is no errors in our program then run the program before that just clear the screen and run the program java followed by file name file name is cubus b u r s t and it is asking the input i am giving five as an input then we need to enter five elements the five elements are 4 3 2 1 5 the sorting after sorting the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 the minimum the middle element we are expecting is 3 as output here it it out here it returns the output as 3 it shows that our code works fine let's check one more test case here i am giving 6 as an output and the inputs are 4 5 2 3 1 6 here here we are getting the output as 9 because we are adding the two elements that is 4 and 5 but we do not sub divide these two element that by it will returns 9 as output just divide the two elements by 2 just save the program run it once 6 and then i am giving 4 5 2 3 1 6 and i am expecting 9 by 2 that is 4 sorry here it is it is uh, sorry here we are getting the same 9 uh, uh, because before after saving the program we need to compile the program once it is compiling the program here we are observing that there is no error in program then run the program give the same out input 6 4 5 2 3 1 6 here we are observing that the output is 4 that means that our program works fine in all the test cases i hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any queries please comment it below i will try to clarify your doubts thank you all